Um, my name is Mrs. Burns and I'm a ninth grade English and 10th grade English teacher. I teach Windows on the World, which is a pre-AP ninth grade elective. So if you're interested in pursuing AP courses, especially in history and English in your four years, it's strongly recommended that you take it. And we focus a lot on um, reading and writing. It's like an additional English class to support you in that way. And it's a lot of discussion and a lot of analysis. Um, we start off the year focusing on skills and we finish the year by reading some longer texts and um, it's, it's really worthwhile. It's a lot of work and it um, really helps students improve moving forward with some of their AP skills moving forward. A lot of students who have, take the course, you know, do talk about the that it is a lot of work. It's a lot of, put a lot of time into it, but then in 10th, 11th and 12th grade every year, students will talk about the benefit and how it has really helped them jumpstart their time in AP courses. Um, so I, you know, I highly recommend if you're interested to take it because it's a worth the time that you put into the course. Um, and the additional thing that I want to mention is that if you are taking this course, you can opt out of the careers, ninth grade careers curriculum, which is required for ninth grade, and we replace some of that in Windows on the World. And the second thing I also want to include is that the course is an honors course, so it's a weighted course because you do put a lot of time and into this um, elective. Hello, nice to meet you. My name is Mrs. Grady. I am the Family and Consumer Science teacher here at Sun Valley High School. I currently teach two courses that freshmen are encouraged to take at Sun Valley. The first is Kitchen Science. You will learn the basics of cooking in a residential kitchen and be able to hopefully fend for yourself after completing this course. We will work on eggs, pancakes, waffles, quick breads, cookies, pizza dough, and cinnamon rolls. I hope this ignites your passion for cooking and you take more of my classes in the future. Contemporary Living. This course is basically an adulting course. You will learn about yourself, relationships, marriage, pregnancy, kids, finances, budgeting, and a bit of cooking, sewing, etc. This is the ultimate class to prepare you for living on your own. I currently offer a farm to table class that focuses on healthy eating and where does our food come from. I'm also proposing a new course, Kitchen Science 2, for either next year or the following year. I look forward to seeing you in my classes. Hi, my name is Ms. McCarthy and I'm representing the art department today to tell you a little bit about the courses you can take as an incoming freshman. So we have Art Foundations 1, we have Photography 1, and we have Ceramics and Sculpture 1. Um, all those courses are half year classes and they really give you an introduction to see if you like the arts and if you want to continue. Um, art 1, you get a good introduction to the principles and elements of design, painting, drawing, collage, a lot of different things um, just to pique your interest to see if you want to move on to Art 2, 3, and AP, which are all full year classes. Photography 1, we have a mix of darkroom, hands-on photography, as well as digital photography with Photoshop, using cameras. Um, again, same thing, try and get you interested and you can move on to Photography 2 and 3, and the last one that we have is ceramics and sculpture and in that class you work with clay um, and also uh, other types of materials like wire and cardboard in order to construct sculptures um, all the classes are a great introduction um, they're half year and they're a lot of fun um, Miss Willow is our art teacher. Mr. Hartman teaches the sculpture and we really would look forward to seeing everyone and remember you don't have to be good at art in order to take an art class. The idea is that you come to the class to learn and to be creative and learn creativity and have fun. So we hope to see you next year and that's it. <laughs> All right, so uh, my name is Mr. Bondanza. I teach uh, Computer Science Essentials, a uh, course that uh, kind of introduces to computer programming languages, uh, starting off with block and uh, ending with text. So we'll talk a little bit about that. The uh, first thing that we do is a MIT app. Um, actually make some programs for the uh, tablets uh, here that we have in our classroom. Uh, that'll be with uh, block coding. So you just kind of drag and drop the code into the computers there. Um, you kind of learn the basics of coding and can uh, really make some really neat programs. So uh, we had some students last year make uh, this Pokemon uh, RPG. You can see their start screen there, uh, able to pick a character and build on that. And then another group made the uh, Galaga game you see here, which actually uses the uh, gyrosphere in the tablet. So as you turn the tablet, actually controlled the ship and then you touch the screen there. 
That's how you fire your ships. So that's two uh, really neat programs that some students made last year. Uh, after that, we start to take a look into uh, VEX Robotics and actually start to use our, our little cars here, which are actually kind of really neat. We've got a camera on the front, got our wheels here. Actually start to program a little bit of AI and uh, start looking at self-driving cars and how to get these to you know, avoid different obstacles and park into different spots. So we start using that block coding and start transforming that into uh, using that car there in that uh, unit. And the last thing that we take a look at is some text-based coding, which is uh, some Python language. So just getting Python a very common language and uh, get you exposed to that and really get into the text base where, hey, there's no longer the blocks dragged down. Hey, really understanding that code inside and out. Um, that's what makes the course really unique is that you get three different types of coding. So you're just kind of getting introduced to that each type. You can figure out which ones you like, which ones you might not like. But you kind of dabble into each of those and, and have some really neat things and can make some games and get to drive around a little car, which is kind of cool. So again, Mr. Bondanza and Computer Science Essentials. My name is Mr. Hill and I teach English at Sun Valley. And my elective course is Creative Writing. In this course, we examine the writing process from the creation of an idea, to brainstorming and pre-writing, to outlining, to drafting, through editing, and finally to publication. We use prescribed forms and topics, eventually releasing to allow you to use your own creativity to independently choose your forms, your topics, and media. We examine word choice, imagery, form, rhythm, rhyme scheme, and a variety of other techniques to improve our writing and make it come alive on the page. We examine poetry in many forms and a variety of short story styles and topics. At the end of the year, all of our work is curated into Sun Valley's Magazine for the Arts, Motif. We'd love to have you come to share your talents and to improve your writing. Hi everybody, my name is Miss Phelps and I am the zoology teacher at Sun Valley. I also teach biology, which is a 10th grade course, but zoology is open to ninth graders. In this class, we learn more about animals, their systems, and how they've evolved. We also do about 10 dissections each year. So if dissections aren't your thing, you might be a little squeamish, it's okay. We do some virtually as well so we can get you through the class. As far as expectations go, you do need to know how to use Google Drive, how to set up folders, how to copy and paste assignments into different folders. And um, if you need help with that, I will help you um, in the class as well with that to beef up your technology skills. So I hope you join me in zoology. Hi, I'm Mr. Morris, and I teach the World Mythology and Legends and Folklores electives in the English department. Um, in some ways, these courses are similar. Um, they're both half credit courses. That means you take them for one semester out of the year. Um, and both courses are about um, how people have always had important stories that they tell and that help to shape the culture that they're a part of. Um, but otherwise, the classes are pretty different. So. Um, world mythology takes a look at very traditional stories, um, you know, going back into history um, and then taking a look at how those traditional stories can be reflected in things that we talk about today or values that we still have today. So this would be your class where we talk more about like the, uh, you know, gods and monsters um, and why, uh, why people told stories like that, where that's coming from, uh, what the elements of those stories are and how they how they might be applied to life today. So that's for world mythology. Um, Legends and Folklore is a course that's about how, you know, stories have always shaped our lives, but also more about how uh, the legacy of how stories shape our lives today as well. Um, that class covers a huge um, variety of topics, um, anything from things like uh, fairy tales or fables um, to things like the legend of King Arthur, or tall tales um, to things that are a lot more contemporary. So, you know, we'd be analyzing stories, but also analyzing how movies might have elements of folklore in them. Um, and really thinking about what folklore means in our like modern world today and thinking about how that ties in with our modern digital culture um, on the internet and talking to each other on our phones and what culture and folklore looks like. Hi, I'm Mr. Pry, and I am the instrumental music director 
at Sun Valley. We have um, with us as well, Nicole Moyer. Hi everyone, I'm Mrs. Moyer. Nice to meet you. We wanna talk a little bit about some of the electives um, that we have available to you. On the instrumental side, we have our normal band, which is winds and brass and percussion. So if you are currently a uh, percussion player, you're gonna jump into that percussion class. Um, if you currently play a wind or brass instrument, join that class and that's very similar to what happens at Northley. Um, and just continue that process moving forward. Um, your two other electives, um, if you choose to do that um, for the regular um, folks who are out there looking to take some sort of music that might not already be in the band, um, we have guitar, which is basically learning guitar tunes. Um, and it's again, similar to what is currently being offered at Northley and just an extension of that. Uh, we also have digital music. Digital music is through the use of computers, um, creating music, cre uh, composing music, um, and actually uh, applying sound and music to movies. So that's a, a really cool um, class to use technology um, it, as well as your musical outlet that you have. Hi everybody, I'm Mrs. Moyer. I am the choral director here at Sun Valley. And uh, you know, I, I teach a couple different courses for music, uh, obviously the choir. And if you are in choir at Northley, I would love for you to be a part of the Sun Valley Choir. We have uh, typically about 105 members. And um, then I also have a chamber choir that I audition at the beginning of the year. And that's a select group. And between those two groups, we, we do some trips, we travel, we have two concerts a year. And you have a lot of singing opportunities outside of school, um, auditioning for district honor choir, region choir, state choir. Um, so there's a lot of great opportunities here. And I, you know, if you wanna keep singing, I highly suggest that you join the choir. I also teach a piano course. So um, if you're interested in playing piano, you do not have to even know how to read music. I will teach you from the very beginning. If you're an advanced pianist, um, you can join the class and I can help you with your skills. You'll have time during the school day to practice piano. And we have lots of different things to offer in, in piano. So I hope that you know if, if you're not a choir member and you're interested in playing piano, you join the piano class. If you're already a choir member at Northley, I highly suggest that you join the Sun Valley Choir. Um, if you are not a choir member at all and you're interested in singing, please come and, and join the choir. Love to have you. And I'd like to echo what uh, Ms. Moore had said about continuing your ensembles. If you are already currently in the ensemble, whether it's band, uh, whether it's percussion, or whether it's one of the choirs, um, continue that. Um, and then we'd love to see everybody else um, have an opportunity to make music as well um, in our other uh, classes, piano, guitar, and digital music. Hey everybody, this is Mr. Mertens. I teach in the business and technology department at Sun Valley, and we have several classes available to you freshman year. They include intro to business, accounting one, entrepreneurship, marketing and sales, and intro to coding and game design. Intro to business is a great place to start if you're interested in business at all. It's a survey course of all the other business classes we teach here at Sun Valley. So there's accounting, personal finance, business law, marketing and sales, and entrepreneurship. And you'll learn a little bit about each of those concepts, which would help you decide which of those full classes you'd like to take next. We also offer Accounting One, where you'll learn about different types of businesses, like sole proprietorships and corporations, and how to manage a company's money. This class prepares you to effectively manage your own money, your own business's money, or work as an accountant. Then there's Entrepreneurship. In this class, you examine what entrepreneurs do, their characteristics and skills, and the different ways that entrepreneurs contribute to our society. You'll also learn how to identify market opportunities, create and evaluate business ideas, and explore the feasibility of a business concept as you develop your own ideas for businesses. There's also marketing and sales, which is designed to acquaint students with the fundamentals of marketing in a free enterprise system and a general knowledge of selling and sales-related marketing activities. 
Topics covered include channels of distribution, career opportunities in merchandising, sales techniques, and supporting activities to make selling effective. Uh, and then there's intro to coding and game design because we're the business and technology department. We're not just business classes. We also have a lot of computer focused classes and this one's available to you freshman year. And basically there's no coding necessary, no coding experience necessary to take this class. You'll learn everything you need to know there. It doesn't hurt to have a background in it, but it's not needed. Uh, and you'll learn about the history of video and computer games. You'll study design choices made by video game creators, and you'll create your own games using several different programs and languages, including Scratch and JavaScript. So that's what we have to offer. I hope you guys sign up for some of these. Okay, so my name is Mr. Taylor, and I teach Astronomy and Astronomy 2 here at Sun Valley High School. Astronomy 1 uh, is a freshman elective. Uh, but it's not limited to freshmen, so there's a chance you could have upperclassmen in there. Um, astronomy 2 tends to be more upperclassmen, although there are some freshmen who take Astronomy 1 in the fall and then Astronomy 2 in the spring. But if you have to take Astronomy 1 before you take Astronomy 2. So and I'll explain the difference in a second. All right, so um, I hope some of you, uh, you know, came to see me in the uh, planetarium uh, when you were in elementary school. Um, and I hope you loved it. Um, and that's where we would meet every day. So, uh, and he, the planetarium is great for showing things space related, as you can imagine. Um, and so I use the planetarium a lot in my teaching. Um, and you, this is what the, on the right, you see the interior of the planetarium. You see me uh, giving a talk to a bunch of parents a few years ago there. Um, it's, it's definitely a hit at Sun Valley. There's lots of people who uh, love my astronomy class and, the, and they will often come back and take astronomy. Uh, so what do we study? So in astronomy one, we try to, to cover the basics. So uh, planets and the solar system. Uh, we talk a little bit about the dwarf planets, everyone's favorite dwarf planet there, Pluto on the right. Um, and you know, we learned a lot about Pluto in the last few years. Uh, we talk about our moon and then we compare it to other moons of the solar system. We talk about NASA missions. There's a new rover flying to Mars right now that's going to study whether there was life on Mars at some point. So we may know for sure, uh, for sure, in the next few years whether there were Martians or aliens on Mars and what they would have looked like. They probably were like little if they were there at all. Um, we'll talk about our star, the Sun, um, and then we'll compare it to other stars in the solar system. As you can see, our Sun's really, really small compared to some of the larger stars in uh, the galaxy. Um, all right, and we'll talk about galaxies a little bit. We'll talk about our home in our galaxy, which is the Milky Way, um, and uh, talk a little bit about some of the theories in, in uh, astronomy, like the Big Bang Theory, not the television show, the actual Big Bang Theory. Uh, and then we'll talk about constellations, where to find them, um, and uh, what kind of stars make up the different constellations. Um, and then, you know, so I said, uh, we'll, we'll deal a little bit about, you know, whether there could be aliens out there somewhere. Um, and we'll talk a little bit about black holes because black holes come from dead stars and uh, even the future of the universe, maybe, if that's what you want to talk about. Um, and then if you take astronomy too, we talk about some of the higher level ideas in astronomy. We talk about how the universe got to be where we are. Uh, we talk about things we can't see in the universe, but we know, we know they're there like dark matter and energy. Um, we do a little bit more on our own galaxy, the Milky Way, uh, and then we talk about some of the modern theories in astronomy. Um, so uh, I hope you uh, want to take Astronomy 1, and then that, I hope that makes you excited enough to take Astronomy 2.